Hello, welcome and uh, thank you for joining me. In this Entry Level 3 Maths video, we are going to look at collecting and recording information. And to do this, we are going to use tally charts and frequency tables. Let's start by having a look at a tally chart. Now, a tally chart is something that we use when we are wanting to count things and we want to be able to record the numbers quickly and easily. Here on the screen, we have a table that is already set out as a tally chart. So we have a title. It's all about the colours of cars in a staff car park. And we can see down the left, we have a column which is the colours of the different cars. Now, the main wider column here is where we are going to do our counting. So let's assume that the first car in the car park that we see is a red car. All we need to do very quickly is to put a one for a red car. As we move through the car park, we then see cars of different colors, a blue one, two white ones, two silver ones, a black one, another two red ones, and so on as we move through the car park. So we are building up a picture of all the different colors of cars. Now we get to a point where the next car is a red one. If we are in a situation where we have one, two, three, four lines, in other words, we have seen four red cars so far, on the fifth one, we do not put another line down the side, but the fifth one is a line across. This has given us a little diagram looks a little bit like a gate and it counts for five. So let's continue moving through the car park and adding more cars. We can see now that we have got to the position where the next white car is also going to be a line across. We have one, two, three, four. The next car is white. It goes across and makes a little gate picture. This is how we continue through the car park. Let's say again we have another red car now. We now have another set of four lines. So the fifth one is going to be a cross. And the reason we do this is so that when we have finished and gone through the car park, let's say we are going to stop there, we can now count quickly and easily how many cars of each color. So the red car, remember each little gate, each little picture here counts for five. So with red cars, we have five, 10, 15, plus two on the end is 17. Blue, we only have four. White, we have five, 10. Black three, silver, we have five, and two and one. So by grouping them into fives, it makes it very easy for us to count it. And that is how we complete a tally chart. It is just worth noting that you've seen me draw my tally so that my groups of five look like this. You may see the line going in the opposite diagonal. And in fact, in print, it may occasionally look like that. They are all the same, four down and one across. Now, let's move to a frequency table. So the good news is we do not need to draw a new table to create a frequency table. As you can see here, we have exactly the same table that we have just completed, the tally chart. But all we have done is added an extra column on the end. And the title is indeed frequency because a frequency table is simply a tally chart that has been added up. So all we need to do is go back and count the number of each color. Red, we said was five, 10, 15, 16, 17, and the number goes in the end column. Blue, there were four cars. White, there were 10. Black was three. Silver was five. Green was two and yellow was one. All we then need to do is add up the number of each car. In this case, it comes to 42. And that is a completed frequency table. So a tally chart 
is the raw information, the tally that you have counted whilst you are in the car park. A frequency table is the same thing as a tally chart, but with the numbers added up in a final column and a total recorded. So let's have a look at a typical type of question that you might find in a test or exam. The top box here is giving us information about drinks sold in the cafe. So someone has written down the name of each drink as it has been sold. Your job is to complete the tally chart and frequency table using the information in the top box. So what you need to do is count up the number of the drinks. You could do this first of all by selecting maybe all the coffees at once and then all the teas or you could simply go through the drinks one at a time. And a good idea to make sure of accuracy is as you count each drink cross it off the chart. So let's start with the first drink which was a coffee. We'll cross that one out and put a one in the tally chart. We are then going to go with a tea and then a cola. The next one is another cola and the next one is a tea. This you need to continue throughout the top box until you have recorded every drink in the tally chart. And when you have gone through every item, the tally chart is complete and will look like this. Your second job then is to turn the tally chart into a frequency table. And again, we do this by using the column at the end and we simply add up the number of each drinks. So coffee, there were five, 10 coffees sold. Tea, five, 10, 11, 12, 13 coffees. Cola were nine. Water was seven and milk was five. Our final task then is to add up the drinks and if we total the numbers, we come to 44. We now have a completed frequency table. So as you can see, a tally chart and a frequency table are actually very similar things. The tally chart we complete first when we're recording the information and then we turn it into a frequency chart simply by adding it all up and coming to a total. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and have a look at some of my other videos. Hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.